What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in today. I have an exciting unboxing to dig into for you. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed here to the channel. I'd love to have you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps push the video out there so more people have a chance to check it out. Let me know what you're carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. Love hearing from you guys and what you're carrying for the day. So thank you to Olatens for sending this in for us to take a look at. And Olatens has to they have impressed me uh over the last couple of knives that i've checked out from them now i believe this is this is one of their all their knives that i've come across are very affordable but i believe this one is extremely extremely affordable i will link it down below and uh you can uh head over and check it out but they include a microfiber cloth disassembly tool and some more information nice little packaging there from olatens and some of you may know but they do a number sequence for their knives and this one is the g40 or the go40 i just say g40 uh, but they have a lot of good knives and they have crossbar lock knives button lock knives uh, and this one I said to them uh, to the person I I talked to it looked very interesting for just kind of a, a small EDC pocket knife and I thought maybe this would be in a lot of people's wheelhouse who you know are in that more affordable range because these are going to come in i believe under 30 bucks and olatens has a really solid lineup of knives and i thought this one just looked very interesting now i believe this is one of their earliest designs and you can see here they have the olatens there on the front and any knife except for this one that i have seen does not have any branding on the blade so that just tells me very quickly and early on they grew quickly to realize hey people don't want uh branding on the blade they ultimately went with a logo on the pivot which in my opinion looks way way better than you know running the name across the face of the blade but when we're talking about a knife that comes in well under fifty dollars uh this is going to make a solid little knife right here i i just have a feeling it's going to be very solid it's very slim uh it's very skinny you have a nice deep carry pocket clip there. Very simple, I really like that. Uh, it's not recessed and the screws aren't recessed, but ultimately I don't, I don't feel like that's a big deal on a knife like this. There's going to be plenty of clearance to get that in and out of the pocket. We are looking at D2, nice spear point style of blade, drop point, spear point style of blade, looks great. Going to be ultra useful. Uh, for EDC work. Now we are looking at a flipper tab for deployment only, but uh, that's okay. I, I enjoy a good flipper and this one will be able to light switch it and will be able to push button it as well. Uh, I really like this aesthetic. It's just very clean. This is kind of, if you just need an, a cutting tool on you, right? Uh, you don't need anything crazy. You don't need anything flashy. You just want to make sure that you have a pocket knife on you. And I know there's quite a bit of females that watch the channel and stuff like this and people who like smaller size knives uh, are really going to enjoy this aesthetic and this price point and this profile of knife they have a bunch of different colors that you can pick from i just told them to send me you know kind of whatever this will probably end up with my fiance i'm going to guess since it's purple but uh, it's got a nice satin finish on the blade there the lights being wonky here in the room but let's uh Let's take a look at this thing in the pocket with our issuing stitches Hank here. Now, if you are wondering, they're, I think, 90% or more of their knives come in 14C, not D2. Uh, so a nice step up. But those are going to be $40 to $60, where this one, I think, is uh, under 30 And to get 
a solid build. I don't know for sure. I've asked and they weren't uh, they they weren't real. <laughs> it was kind of a funny conversation after the third Olatens. I asked them who the OEM was, and they asked me who do I think the OEM is, and I said, "Boy, I don't know. It, it really feels like it could be Vastid OEMing these knives because 14C um, crossbar locks, button locks, uh, just." very uh, similar build quality very good build quality uh, hitting all the right spots uh, it just felt like Vostid and when I said that the person I deal with kind of sent a wow face and that's all they said so I don't know if I was way wrong on it or if they were surprised that I got it but I don't know. They didn't confirm or deny that it was Vostid doing the OEM work for them now. So I don't know. But that's the level I put some of their knives on. Uh, now this one's going to be in the ultra budget range. Um, but it still feels very good mechanically. I could say or I would say the detent, it does even with a light kick out. It does still fly all the way open. So really yeah, even if I just lightly, it still wants to kick all the way out. So I can't say it's too light. I could say, though, that I wouldn't mind if it was stronger. But here you can see, even with a very light kick out, it's still just opening right up to locked out position. Uh, let's check centering as well. And very tight tolerances in between those steel liners and it is nicely centered up as far as lockup we're looking at what is that oh it is that's like 50 percent which is good with me that should mean that this is going to have a nice positive lockout now let's go ahead and we'll see what kind of edge they put on this d2 Okay, we got our telephone book paper here. Oh, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful job. That's what I wanna see right there. Very, very nice. Love this profile, love that blade shape. Uh, love the price point on the knife. Let's go ahead and we'll give this a couple of taps here and see how that lock is holding up. But there's no up and down play and there's no side to side play. Let's see what happens here. And then I'll bring out a couple of their other designs if you have not seen those yet. Very good. Very good. It's got a very thin blade stock, very lightweight blade. The knife itself is very lightweight. We'll give it a quick measurement here and then I will bring out. We are looking at like two, oh, two and five eighths of cutting edge. We're looking at two and three quarters of total blade and we're down around six and three eighths overall. So definitely not going to be in the large knife category. It's going to be more in that midsize. And if you have not seen the other unboxings and videos I've done on their knives, you got to go check them out if this is kind of the price point that you hover around because I am telling you what, they are extremely solid, solid knives. They got micarta, they got really well done G10, they do 14C coated, uncoated, they got crossbar locks, they got button locks, they got all kinds of stuff going on early on um they're a company who started out with like the full fo folding scalpel and then 
found themselves doing folding knives. And I gotta tell you what, they have been ultra impressive. I mean, really strong, good springs on their crossbar knives and button lock knives, contoured handles, very well finished. I think the only nitpick I had of the knife was the O'Lottens on the clip there. Uh, but I think that's a standard two hole uh, pocket clip there and could be changed out with a variety of different clips. But the clip itself is really well done and really well executed. Uh, so it was kind of a, this is an easy um, recommendation for me. If you like crossbar locks, this knife is phenomenal. If you like button locks, plunge locks, this knife is phenomenal. Crown spine contoured beautiful micarta reversible clip comes in around like 50 bucks uh just a very very solid design and solid knife very straightforward uh, i believe these are ultimately the same knife just with a different locking mechanism uh yeah i think ultimately the same knife which is one thing i never really looked at when i checked them both out but yeah, they, they have a bunch of different stuff uh, for such a new company and just very solid work. And like I said, I believe this uh, was one of their first designs, if not their first design. Uh, so that's kind of why you see a little bit of differences. But what I would have loved to have seen was this pocket clip on this knife right here. That would have really top these off i mean these are already some of the best value that you can get uh in that 50 dollars range with everything that they have going on here with the crown spine the contoured scales so these are kind of the ne next step up in their lineup opposed to this knife but if you're looking for that kind of minimal carry secondary carry something that's very affordable I think the uh, G40 here will make a very awesome uh, pocket knife. You guys will have to let me know what you think of Olatens and their new line uh, that they have out because I am ultimately very impressed with them. And like I said, I put these builds like this and uh, this here both on the same level as Migron, Vostid, those companies. These builds are right up there with them, and in some cases, uh, even better, you know, with the contouring, the crown spine. If they offer just a little bit different aesthetic on the clip, it would be a no-brainer. I mean, it's already still a no-brainer. Filler tab, that was an indication that it could be Vostid, just very Vostid-esque. Uh, so... I don't know that for a fact, but that's who I think it is and who it could be. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Always appreciate it, everyone. It really helps push the video out there so more people have a chance to check it out. If you're new here, we release videos just like this one every single day. Hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell. I'd love to have you here. I'll put up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.